Good morning and welcome. I'm Tricia Slegel, Marketing Officer for People's Bank, and I'd like to thank each of you for joining us for this Prescription Drug Help webinar today. I will serve as our moderator and would like to begin with some housekeeping details before we get started. All of our participants' lines have been muted. However, we will be accepting questions throughout the presentation. You can submit your question by using the chat option at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Feel free to submit questions throughout the presentation. We will address as many of them as we can at the end of our presentation. We will provide a copy of today's webinar to all participants within a few days from now. We have a great webinar planned for you today and we're so glad you're here with us. I'd like to start by introducing you to Keith Rill. Keith is a lifelong resident of York County. He's a graduate of Spring Grove High School and holds a bachelor's degree from Shippensburg University. After 28 years as warehouse systems engineer, Keith decided to change career paths and focus on becoming an expert in the individual health insurance space. He has a passion for helping consumers learn about their health insurance options in a way that will lead them to making the best choices now and into the future. Keith has also driven deep into the prescription drug industry. Hearing stories of clients' inability to afford prescription drugs has motivated him to constantly learn and teach others how to save in a very complicated space. He believes that sharing health insurance and prescription drug market knowledge is the most impactful way he can serve our local community and build a, a successful business strategy. Now I'm going to turn things over to Keith. Keith, are you ready to jump right in? Absolutely. Okay, so <clears throat> thanks, Tricia. Thanks to People's Bank for putting this on, giving us the opportunity to share our knowledge. Um, I'm going to be using a, a PowerPoint here to uh, guide us uh, through our discussion this morning. Um, I'm also going to be um, I'm also going to be uh, using some uh, examples uh, as well. Uh, let's see here. As we move along, I'm just going to move around here. All right. Um, I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between the presentation and uh, some examples online um, to show you how you can save money on prescription drugs. Um, obviously, the goal here is is to uh, help people understand uh, what strategies they can use uh, to save that money. Um, uh, kind of a baseline uh, way of thinking about uh, prescription drugs and the way to pay for them. Um, uh, many of you probably uh, watching this webinar have a prescription drug plan uh, insurance of some kind, either uh, through your employer, uh, through group health insurance, through uh, a union or employer, uh, or you might have individual health insurance through uh, through the penny uh, platform, or you're a uh, you're a Medicare eligible person, and you have a Medicare Advantage or a Part D prescription drug plan. Kind of the baseline uh, seed, I guess I'd I'd, I'd want to plant uh, in your mind st in starting this uh, presentation is that your prescription drug plan, your your insurance plan, is a way uh, to pay for your prescription drugs. Um, it, but it's not the only way. Um, so think of it as uh, your prescription drug plan is an opportunity to pay for drugs, but there are other opportunities as well. Um, when you think about your prescription drug plan, uh, those plans are organized uh, in what's called a drug formulary. And drug formularies have uh, tiers associated with them uh, and, and the drugs are placed into those tiers. Tier one is the least expensive tier, uh, which is usually for what they call preferred generic drugs. Um, and uh, those drugs in a prescription drug plan can cost you as little as zero dollars. Um, and they go up to, some plans have uh, up to four or five tiers. Uh, tier fours, tiers threes, fours, and fives are typically the most expensive drugs. Those are typically um, name brand drugs or specialty drugs. One of the ways uh, that I want to talk about first in terms of saving on prescription drugs is a formulary exception. So if you take a prescription drug that's a tier three on your formulary, uh, on your drug plan, you can go through a process 
with your prescription drug plan carrier to request a formulary exception. Um, that means that, um, well, uh, that means that if the drug is not on the formulary, um, you can request that it be on the formulary. And if they put it on there, they might put it on a tier that uh, that is not very affordable. Tier level exceptions is, is, is if it's a tier three or a tier four, you can go through a similar process to request that the tier be changed um, to say a tier two or a tier one. Um, this is a, a method that we've had a relatively limited amount of success doing working with carriers, um, but it is something that uh, that is available out there and we wanted to make you aware of that. Um, it's usually a process you have to call the member services line um, and they will guide you through the process. It's usually some paperwork involved, getting your also getting your uh, prescriber or your doctor involved in explaining why you need that medication and so forth. So just know that those methods are out there. <clears throat> Probably the most popular and the most uh, successful ways that we've had of uh, helping our clients save money on prescription drugs is using discount cards. And the ones that work best um, in our local area are GoodRx and Single Care. So these are uh, these are companies that offer free discount cards for certain prescription drugs. And like um, sim in very similar fashion to your drug plan, um, they use uh, sort of like formularies um, to, to price their drugs and they are regional. GoodRx and single care work very well in our area and they work best, um, they work best for generics. So, Good RX, as I mentioned, um, is a really good alternative out there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to their site and show you how to use it and give you an example of what's going on with this. Um, so basically, you can go right up, uh, you can go right up to your browser and just type in goodrx.com. And these are all free services, okay? Um, and I'm going to type in a drug um, that's relatively common. It's an anti-inflammatory. Indomethacin. We type it in there and it will go to this page where it will begin showing you the prices for certain pharmacies in our area. I typed in my zip code 17404. You can also go in here and instead of 30 capsules, maybe I need 90. And it will actually show you the price of the drugs at various pharmacies. And here it looks like CVS, uh, uh, Target is, CVS and Target are the, are the least expensive. If we look at, this is a relatively popular drug plan in our area, it's a well care value script plan. If we look at the price of this drug for a 90 day supply, we see that if we buy this at say CVS, it would be 60, $61.33 for a 90 day supply if we used our plan, okay? So you can see here, I'd certainly rather pay $12.70 for the same thing, all right? So this is a very, very good way, and this is, some, this is a good example of what you can save with these, with these discount programs. In order to get this discount, you can either click Get Free Savings, and what it'll do is it'll say, show this free, free uh, coupon to your pharmacist at CVS. So it is a super, super easy way to save money. So I always tell folks, um, unless you're paying zero 
for your drugs. And there are a lot of drugs on drug formularies that are tier ones um, that could cost you $0. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. But if you're paying more than zero, shop your prescription drugs on GoodRx, especially if they are generics. Shop your drugs on GoodRx and single care. Here's, here's the same drug on single care. And it works the exact same way. You type in your drug. Um, this is for a 30 count. You can change the count on here. Works the exact same way on GoodRx. And you see the prices. Single care tends to offer lower prices with a with a sign up with a specific pharmacy. So you see here that six dollars and thirty two cents. It's actually eleven thirty two if you don't sign up. But you can go ahead and print this. You can go ahead and print this. Uh, go ahead and print this coupon. The exact same way you do with GoodRx, and you can save that money. It's really that simple. You can also sign up and get a card, an actual plastic card for single care or good RX sent right to your door. And there's a little sign up button right here. You can sign up for an account. Um, they'll ask you some basic information. Obviously they'll ask you for your address and things like that. And they'll actually send you a good RX card in the mail that you can use for any prescription. So I always say to shop them around GoodRx when you go to pick up your prescriptions, you can hand them the GoodRx card and your insurance card and ask your pharmacist to charge you whichever is cheaper. It's very common practice for us. Um, my daughter happens to take a medicine that's $1,000 a month. With GoodRx, it's actually $23 a month. So um, there are some legitimate savings to be had here. So. That is good RX um, and single care. Um, and these are excellent. These are excellent options to use uh, for drug savings, and they're very simple to use. Advisory Health really isn't around here too much. Single care is outstanding. Um, compare single care to good RX as well, um, because sometimes single care will beat good RX and the other way around. So I would encourage people to go ahead and, and get these uh, get these discount cards. They could save you a ton of money. Um, the next type of discount strategy that I'd like to discuss is online pharmacies. And these are becoming more popular. Um, you've probably heard, you may have heard of Cost Plus. This is, uh, this is one of the most popular online pharmacies. Um, Mark Cuban, you know, he's on Shark Tank. He's a pretty popular guy. Um, he actually started this uh, a couple of years ago. Um, and it is a, it, it is a good option. Um, I would say that the number of um, the just the the variety of medications offered on here um, are are limited, but they're adding new ones every day. Um, this option is especially attractive um, if you want to do mail order. So if you create an account on Cost Plus um, and you order your medicines on here, um, they will charge you, um, I, I, I think um, Cost Plus charges a 15% markup off wholesale on the medicine, um, and they charge you a shipping and handling fee. Um, as well. So, but if you want your medicines at a at a less expensive price and you want to mail to your home, the, um, Cost Plus can be a good option. You'll have to obviously put your uh, put your medicine name in here to see if they have it. Um, but they are checked back regularly because they li are literally adding medications every day. Um, one of the ones online pharmacies that has been um, awesome for several of our clients. <clears throat> excuse me, is, um, is Eagle Pharmacy. It is another um, online 
pharmacy. And one of the things that they are doing, um, a very, very popular medication um, here is, um, is Synthroid for um, those with thyroid conditions. Um, I can show you the Synthroid Delivers program. And there are some others that are uh, partnering with online pharmacies. So Synthroid Delivers is a good program available to uh, practically anyone um, where you can get name brand Synthroid uh, for as low as $25 a month for a 90-day supply. So basically, um, you would go on here um, and enroll in the program, um, and the medicine would be delivered to your door um, at $25 a month. And they are actually um, fulfilling that through a partnership with an online pharmacy, Eagle Pharmacy. So um, that is an enormous opportunity for those on Synthroid. And they are, uh, that's, a, that's a really big program for a lot of our clients um, there. So let's see here. Let's go back to our presentation. Um, the, the next type of, uh, of program that I want to talk about for saving on prescription drugs is patient assistance programs. Now, there's two types of, of, of programs um, available out there by a number of name brand uh, farm, uh, for a number of brain, name brand drugs. Um, and these are sponsored by the manufacturer of those drugs. Um, patient assistance programs are typically um, created for folks on Medicare, and they have uh, discount cards and coupons um, that are created for those who are not on Medicare. So those who are on uh, group health plans or uh, individual healthcare plans. Um, patient assistance programs are often, um, you often have to qualify based on your income. So um, they, excuse me, they use, uh, a tr and, it's, and it's based on the federal poverty level. Um, so if you're, let's say, for example, um, you're your household of two people, and I think this is for 2022, actually, we'll have to get this one updated. But if there are two people in your household um, at 400% of the federal poverty level, that means that you can make up to $6,103 per month and still qualify for the patient assistance program. A lot of people think um, that in order to get help with their prescription drugs, um, that with through patient assistance programs, that they have to be very, very low income. Um, for a lot of the uh, patient assistance programs, for a lot of drugs, that's not necessarily true. So um, some of them are 400, 500, even 600% the federal poverty level. So um, I tell folks in many cases, it's worth applying um, for those patient assistance programs for those very expensive drugs. Um, just to kind of call out um, some of these patient assistance programs, um, AbbVie has a number of, of, of drugs on. Humana is very popular, uh, is a very popular one here. Um, and they offer a ton of medications on patient assistance programs. Um, AstraZeneca, um, Symbacort, is, uh, Far Farziga, very, very popular. Um, they actually have 26 medications offering patient assistance programs. Um, uh, Gen uh, Genentech is another one. Uh, they have 38 meds out there. Glasgow, Smith, Klein, Brio, um, people will find people that are especially on Medicare um, will find that um, inhalers um, are extremely expensive. Um, so Trilogy, Brio, um, things of that nature, Anero, um, Advair. There are some generics out there um, 
for some of these inhalers. Um, but I, um, if you can't, uh, it, we'll talk about how other ways to get those as well. Um, Canadian pharmacy sometimes is really good for some of the inhalers. Um, but there are generics out there as well that might be more affordable as well. You, um, but Flovent is even on here. Glasgow Smith Klein does a lot of inhalers. Pfizer as well, 70 medications offered for patient assistance. Um, so let's talk about, I'm gonna show you, how do I find these patient assistance programs? How do I know what's available out there? And how do I know if I'm gonna qualify for it? I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. Um, and this is another, we're gonna talk about, um, we're going to talk about some of these free services that are out there for folks. Um, Needy Meds is a great resource for finding discount coupons that are offered by man manufacturers and prescription, uh, prescription help out there. Um, it's needymeds.org, and we'll show you a slide on this as we go through the uh, presentation as well. Um, basically, um, this is a nonprofit organization out there um, that works a lot on donations. They obviously do some advertising as well um, that helps people find prescription drug help. Um, if I am going to go and I'm going to look for one here, um, Eloquis is a good example. Eliquis has uh, become a relatively popular anticoagulant. Um, so you basically type in the name of your drug. As you type it, it'll give you some hints. And what happens here is it'll give you the name of the drug down here. You can just zoom in on that. Hopefully you can see it. And it gives you a couple links here. So the first link will be for the patient assistance program. Okay, that would be for Medicare eligible folks. And here's one for the coupon rebates and more. So I'm gonna click on the coupons first. And it will actually give you links to those programs. So here's the Eloquence, Eloquence Copay card. Um, Eloquist is super, super expensive on any plan. Um, and, and by the way, uh, you're not, you're not going to find a prescription drug plan anywhere that covers, uh, tier three, tier four and tier five drugs at a reasonable rate, um, at a reasonable price. They just, um, at least we haven't, we haven't run into one. So, um, group plans tend to tend group plans and union sponsored plans tend to, uh, tend to handle them the best. Um, but in terms of individual plans and Medicare plans, uh, tier threes, fours, and fives are, are usually very expensive. Um, but this uh, will tell you about the drug program. Um, you can get a 30-day supply for up to 24 months if you qualify for this uh, um, for this card. And they will show you you can click on the manufacturer's offer website and they will show you how to enroll in this program. So, and, and needy meds, uh, we, whenever, you know, somebody uh, needs help with prescription drugs um, and we've, we've, you know, I've dealt with Eloquis quite a bit. Um, so I know the Eloquis website, but if it's something that I'm not familiar with, I go right to needymeds.org right away um, to see what's available out there. And what we found is there's there's help available for almost almost every name brand drug. Um, here is, let's see here. If we go to the patient assistance program button. Come on. 
here we go. And we click the patient assistance program button. It will take us to the Brit Bristol Myers Squibb Patient Assistance Foundation um, page. And what we can do is we can go then to the pro we can go to the program website if we want to. We can learn more about the about the patient assistance program, which medicines are available for that. Um, there's lots and lots of help out here to see if you qualify. Okay. Um, this one here tells you what the qualifications are for household income to qualify for their patient assistance program. You can also call their 1-800 number. Most of these patient assistance programs, when you call them, are very, very helpful. So if you're on Eliquis, I would um, very strongly encourage you to, uh, to look into this program. Um, there's also a lot of them have the forms. Um, many of the drugs, needy meds will have a link to the form right online. So if you click on that, give this just a second to load. You can print this out. You can either print this out, fill it out by hand, or it's uh, you can actually fill it out here online. For these uh, patient assistance programs, um, they'll want to know about your insurance information. You know, if you're Medicare Part D, or if you're Medicare Advantage, um, uh, ask you about your insurance information. There will also um, be a section on these forms for your doctor to fill out your prescriber. And they'll be, uh, they can fill this out for you. So you'll have, you will have to get them involved in, uh, in getting these patient assistance forms completed. So that is a good example of a couple of things. So it's a good example of, of needy meds, how to use needy meds. It's a good example of how to find, um, Use another one here for Jardians. It's a good example of how to find um, drugs on needy meds and what programs are available for them. And then you can use uh, their website to, uh, to get started in enrollment in their programs. So we've had tremendous success in this space using patient assistance programs. So let's talk about, uh, we talked about cost plus, we talked about patient assistance programs. Talked about, uh, we looked at, um, we looked at needy meds and we know, we understand how that works. Nonprofit patient assistance organizations. Needy Meds is one of those. It's the best one. Um, the PAN Foundation is also an excellent resource. Um, the PAN Foundation um, issues grants um, on an on usually an annual basis. Um, these are these are usually um, grants are usually issued by by illness or by condition. So certain types of cancer, uh, perhaps uh, diabetes, uh, things of that nature. Um, some of you may know that uh, there are um, oral uh, chemo treatments and things of that nature available nowadays um, that are actually prescription drugs um, that are prohibitively expensive uh, for a lot of folks. Um, we encourage our clients, uh, we help them um, find uh, Pan Foundation grants. Um, we can uh, we can help you you know understand what they are and when they are available. Most grants um, you want to get your application in as soon as possible in um, in the year. So uh, January timeframe is the best time to get in there um, and apply for those grants. 
a lot of times the grant money that's allocated um, for certain conditions is 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 used up relatively quickly. Um, so those disease funds uh, get used very very fast. So we always ask people to to enroll in those or inquire on those uh, January first if possible. Um, medicine assistance tool is is a very similar uh, uh, type of grant program um, and good days uh, similar to the Pan Foundation. Um, they help people connect um, with help fighting chronic diseases um, and medicines and care associated with those. The next type of uh, prescription drug uh, savings strategy that I want to discuss is uh, is using Canadian pharmacies. Um, if you don't qualify for a patient assistance program. Um, you know, maybe income is too high, things of that nature. Um, there's a you know a number of reasons why you may not qualify for those, or you don't qualify for a discount card, um, things of that nature. Um, looking at uh, Canadian pharmacies to fill your prescriptions um, is an option. We have uh, numerous clients that use these resources. Um, we typically recommend one um, in particular, and I'll show you that um, that pharmacy. Um, if you're going to look um, across the border, um, you always want to use a, a Canadian pharmacy that is certified by the Canadian Board of Pharmacy. Um, it's sort of like their, their uh, FDA, I guess you would say. Um, certified by the Canadian um, International Pharmacy Association. Um, we typically use um, Maple Leaf Meds um, for uh, for our Canadian pharmacies, the ones that we recommend. Um, you can often find um, savings on brand name prescription drugs by getting them from Canada. Um, here in the U.S., um, there I, I can't say there's no uh, there's no price control. Uh, just recently, um, for Medicare eligible folks, um, they've capped uh, insulin, for example, to thirty five dollars. Um, but for brand name drugs like Eliquis, Jardiance, um, Genumet, um, things of that nature, as as shown here. Um, there is no there is no cap um, in Canada. There is um, so, and you might notice that there's some kind of wacky looking um, looking quantities here uh, on this example, and that's because uh, Canada works on a 28 day month. Um, so I would incur and always if you're going to get a brand name drug um, from a Canadian pharmacy, here's Genuvia um, at a good price, 28 day supply. Forty-two fifty. Um, I always say get the get the brand name drug from Canada. Don't go with the generic up there. There are generics of drugs that are available in Canada that are not available here in the states. Um, so that generic drug available in Canada may not be FDA approved here in the U.S., but we know the brand is. So we always tell our clients if you're going to go with uh, a Canadian pharmacy, always go with the brand. Um, see here. I can show you an example of that. So here's an here's an example of um, here's an example of Jardiance. Um, you basically you just go to Maple Leaf Meds. I'll take you right to your site. Search for your medication, send your script, confirm your order. So what'll happen here is if you type in Jardiance. And sometimes they do show you the uh, a 30 day supply as as, as pictured here. Um, 25 milligram for 90, 90 tablets is $186. That's uh, a heck of a lot less than what you would pay uh, so a, a lot of 
Part D Medicare prescription drug plans have a $505 deductible. Um, so you pay full price up to $505 there. Um, and then plus uh, a $47 copay for Jardians because it's a tier three on most plans. Um, and then once you hit the, uh, the, some of you might be familiar with the Medicare donut hole or the coverage gap, um, you're paying 25% of retail, which in the United States is a ton of money. Um, so uh, we also uh, have um, some instructions on how to establish a relationship with Maple Leaf Meds, create an account. You will have to call up there to do that. Um, also, uh, you know, how to pay for those medicines up there. Um, and they will be sending those uh, via mail order for you, obviously. Um, and there will be, I think it's uh, a $10 shipping charge um, for those meds uh, coming from Canada. Um, and to be honest, uh, it's been our experience that uh, Customs pretty much looks the other way when it comes to, uh, to medicines coming from Canada into the United States. So uh, we have numerous clients using this resource and saving a lot of money on uh, on brand name drugs. Here's Farzika. Maybe four tablets for $140. So those are some examples on how you can save using Canadian pharmacies. It's a really good alternative that we've been successful with. And there's Farzika there, we just showed you that one. Let's see here. So those are really the uh, those are the strategies um, that I wanted to cover today. Um, again, uh, we're you know we're we're available to take your questions. You know whether it uh, involves health insurance or prescription drug uh, plans, uh, prescription drug costs, things of that nature. So uh, at that point, uh, Trisha, I'll just turn it over turn it over back to you. Uh, see if we have any questions. Uh, from the folks that are that are watching today. Okay, thank you, Keith. I appreciate you taking the time to go through that. We are going to get to some Q and A at this point. I only have one question submitted, so if anyone has any specific questions for Keith, generic questions, again, feel free to submit that uh, by hitting the Q and A button at the bottom of your Zoom screen, and we'll address them. The one question that I have at this point is: Can anyone use GoodRx? Just to clarify, and is it really true that all I have to do is print out that online coupon and they should match the price at any pharmacy? Yes, it is true that anybody can use GoodRx. Um, and it's true that if you print out that coupon, make sure, um, make sure that you print out the coupon that is for that pharmacy. So don't take a giant pharmacy coupon to Weiss, okay? Or don't take a a printed out Weiss one to, to CVS. They won't honor it in that case. Um, but um, uh, yes, anybody can use it. It's absolutely free. Um, and it can be used at those pharmacies that you see on the screen. Um, but I would also encourage you to create an account on GoodRx so you can get your own GoodRx card, a plastic GoodRx card, and you can use that at any pharmacy. You don't have to, you would not then have to print out medication pharmacy specific coupons okay perfect um we have had one more question come in how do you have your current drug script changed my mother has 11 months left for refills for several of her meds um so um you can you can call i i think the question is how do you get the script changed to go to a different pharmacy um you can work with your provider um, and if the best price on that on that prescription um, is at, say, Giant Pharmacy, just call your provider and have them send uh, your prescription to Giant Pharmacy. Okay. I hope I answered the correct question. I'm assuming, but if not, um, if someone could resubmit. We do have two more questions in the meantime. Um, right. 
When selecting a pharmaceutical plan in Medicare signup, why can't individuals find the book for tier pricing before signing up? Um, well, uh, I, I guess it depends. Well, what you can do is there's there's a couple tools you can use to do this. You can use uh, you can use um, Medicare.gov, and you can uh, shop for prescription drug plan using Medicare.gov. Um, folks, uh, Medicare eligible folks that work with us, we actually do that for them. So uh, we work with our clients to acquire a list of prescription drugs um, that they're taking. So that would be the name of the drug, the dosage, and the frequency in which they take it. We then take that information for our clients and shop it for them. And we help them choose the lowest, we, we help them choose the, the prescription drug plan that will be the lowest cost for them and the drugs that they are taking. Um, if there are drugs there that are tier threes or require um, some investigation as far as what's the best way to buy them, we do that too. So we. We, we supply our clients with a prescription drug strategy um, that includes the plan and the best ways to buy the drugs. Okay, perfect. Um, we have had three more questions at this point. Great. When using GoodRx, can you submit a 90-day prescription? Yes. You can print a coupon for a 30, 60, or 90-day supply, um, or you can, like I say, get that plastic card and uh, it, it'll work for uh, any number of of of, uh, of counts. So I, this is my question, just based okay. on what you're saying. For what from what I'm understanding, the GoodRx plastic card is kind of like your golden ticket, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Two more questions that we have. I joined late. I am still working and have insurance. Is there still a way for me to save money? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, uh, if you're still working, have a group plan. Um, you find that, um, you know, using your plan is uh, your, your, your medicine is too expensive. Absolutely. Good Rx, single care, um, the, uh, the manufacturers, uh, copay cards, things of that nature. You can, you, you could use any of those tools. Absolutely. It's not just for Medicare. It's not just for individual penny plans. It, it, they will absolutely work for anyone. And I will say too, just for that person that joined late, um, I did mention in the beginning that each attendee will receive a recording of the live webinar. So my recommendation would be to just go back through and watch what you did miss because there was a lot of um, very helpful information that would certainly apply. Um, last one that I have at this point, I assume I would need a separate GoodRx card for my spouse. Is that correct? Um... No, you can use really any any good RX card for anybody. It's not necessarily assigned to an individual, um, and it's and it's and keep in mind, it's not insurance. So it is literally a discount card. So really, anybody could use it. Okay. Um, two more for the good RX card or other cards, will that expire and do they need renewed periodically? Um, I, I've been, I, I've been using the same one for years. Um, I don't believe it'll expire. Understand this though, that, um, the prices will change. So if you get that plastic card, I mean, it might be $12 and 10 cents when you pick up a, a prescription Three months later, it might be a higher or lower. So th the the discounts and things like that will change. They could go up, they could go down. Okay. In in my experience, uh, buying medicine with them, it's been it's been relatively small fluctuations over time. Okay. Um, do you have the ability to find best prices for DME like insulin pumps and Dexcom? Um, no, it, it's, um, with, with Medicare plans, usually those are covered under part B. Um, but in terms of durable medical equipment, we really haven't, uh, we really haven't delved into that space. Okay. Um, that's all the questions that I have at this point. I'm going to do my quick wrap up. If anybody thinks of anything while I'm doing that, please feel free to submit your question. We do still have some time. 
Um, and Keith, if you want to share your screen with your contact information, just as oh, sure. a last minute reminder, um, again, just as my formal wrap up, just wanted to take time to thank all of you for joining us today for this webinar. Um, as I mentioned, please feel free. Keith is getting to the screen now that has his yep. direct contact information. Please feel free to reach out to him directly with any further questions. Um, he will be very happy to help you. Um, and like I just mentioned a few minutes ago, as a reminder, you will receive an email that contains a recording of today's webinar. You'll probably get that tomorrow or the day after. You will also get um, a link to do a survey, and we would really appreciate if you could take the two minutes to fill out that survey. Your feedback's really important to us. Um, and that's really all I have. I don't see any other questions. So thank you again for joining us today. Thank you, Keith, very much. I appreciate it. I hope this was helpful to everyone. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and stay well. Thank you, folks.